Hey guys, I'm here once again at the HyperX Suite. And while we've already covered their upcoming Cloud Flight wireless headset, you can find the link right over here, there are a few other newcomers as well. Some are updated versions of current generation peripherals like the Alloy Elite keyboard and Pulsefire gaming mouse, while others like the Fury SSD are brand new. If you want to add a bit of unique flair to your build, look no further because HyperX has some interesting stuff coming your way. But before all of that, I wanted to thank Fantex, Corsair, and Cooler Master for providing sponsorship support during this show. Without them, we would have been on delayed flights and our hotel internet access would have been from the dark ages. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get on to the fun stuff, starting with the Allo Elite RGB gaming keyboard. This is basically the same keyboard we've reviewed earlier this year, but with the addition of RGB. Honestly, there was no reason for HyperX to change a formula that already worked so well. The Allo Elite RGB represents the pinnacle of HyperX's full-size keyboard designs, and its price of $170 reflects that. For anyone keeping track at home, that's a $60 premium over the red illuminated standard Elite keyboard. But this is a flagship peripheral, so you get almost crazy number of features like a solid steel frame, USB 2.0 pass-through port, a detachable wrist rest, and the usual N-key rollover and anti ghosting technology. Those dedicated media buttons with the volume dial will come handy as well, not to mention Kingston's well-designed Ingenuity software. Like with many other high-end gaming peripherals, HyperX will be offering the Elite with three different Cherry MX key choices, red, brown, and of course, blue. If you want to know more about our impressions on the standard Elite, make sure to check out the link above. For gamers who need all of its features, it would be hard to recommend anything else. Moving on to another popular HyperX peripheral that is being updated, we have the Pulsefire Mouse. This one is receiving an extensive update to create a new product rather than replacing the original one outright. The new Pulsefire Surge takes the first Pulsefire's body and adds a new Pixar 3389 sensor that boosts maximum DPI from 3200 to 16,000. New Omron switches have been added too, which moves durability from 20 million clicks to about 50 million. Finally, the Pulsefire Search receives RGB lighting and compatibility with HyperX's new Ingenuity software to implement custom macros and store them in an onboard library. Since the standard Pulsefire will remain around at its more affordable $49 price point, the Surge will have a small premium with its cost boosted to $69.99. Now, speaking of that Ingenuity software, it's something new for HyperX. Since all of their peripherals uh, were quite basic and didn't really need anything to control their features. But with the addition of RGB, a bit more control was needed, and that's where Ingenuity steps into place. Right now, it's still in beta form, but it offers everything we have come to expect from a program like this. There's the ability to modify the RGB LEDs, implement shortcuts, add macros, create custom profiles, and much more. We can't wait to see what the final version looks like. Alright, RGB trend continues with this, guys. The Fury RGB SSD. Yes, you heard that right. Rather than requiring modders to pay upwards of $30 for SSD cases with integrated RGB lighting, HyperX is offering it by default. The lighting effects will be controllable through software like ASRock's RGB Sync, ASUS Aura Sync, Gigabyte's RGB Fusion, and MSI's Mystic Light Sync. That's pretty cool. But don't think for a second that the pretty exterior hides poor performance. The Fury SSD will incorporate the latest 3D NAND technology to deliver read speeds of approximately 550 megabytes per second and writes at 500 megabytes per second while targeting sequential performance. Unlike HyperX's current SSD lineup, it will be available in higher capacities of up to 2 terabytes as well uh, when it's launched this summer. Expect it to be featured in a few of our builds as well. Now, the last thing we want to touch base on is HyperX's first RGB memory modules, the Predator RGB series. I'm well aware that a lot of other companies have launched motherboard-powered modules, uh, but these are actually the first to feature IR or infrared technology to remain in sync. Basically, this means that they will be perfectly even when displaying various effects, unlike other modules on the market, and that's pretty cool, and I can't wait to see it in action in Q2 of 2018. So that wraps up our visit to HyperX, and we wanted to thank them again for providing us with the support we needed to produce this video. If you want to know more about anything we featured, check out the links in the description down below, or check out Kingston's YouTube channel, or subscribe and stay tuned for our reviews of these upcoming products. I'm Ebo with Hurricane X, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.